when a young FBI agent named Henry Durand returns home from a long secret mission. He is assigned to monitor his mother's new boyfriend, who is a suspected art thief. The story begins in Paris, with a group of thieves attempting to rob a museum, but unfortunately, one gets trapped and is caught. The unknown man is interrogated by the museum police, but is rather unfazed and casually pretends not to have any information for them. Elsewhere, we meet Harry and his mother named Marty, who gives little or no attention to her hygiene or health. Henry is leaving for a long program in the FBI and has to say goodbye to his mother. At the airport, they bid each other farewell before he leaves, heartbroken that her only child has left her and coupled with the fact that she's a widow. She's not too keen on going home, so she hangs around the airport for a while. While slouching around, a man assumes her to be begging for alms because of her unkempt appearance and tosses a coin into her cup of soda. However, the gesture doesn't offend her, but rather, it gives her an idea. Three years pass and Henry returns. He enters the house, but is shocked to find that his once overweight and unhygienic mother now has the appearance of a supermodel. She's delighted to have him home, but he's too overwhelmed with the drastic changes to express his joy. After catching up and finding out some of his mother's rather surprising adventures over the last three years, he informs her that he's engaged to a woman named Emily, who is also in the bureau as a psychologist. Later that evening, Emily arrives and the three have dinner together, while Marty continuously shocks her son with her activities while he was away and explains that she decided to turn her life around before informing them that she has a date. A while later, someone knocks on the door and when Henry opens it, he is greeted by a very childish teenager named Eddie, who he soon finds out is his mother's date. He does a good job of hiding his irritation before Marty and the boy get on his motorcycle and zoom off. Later that night, Henry stays up waiting for his mom, and Emily, who seems to be down bad, begs him to get back in bed. The night gets even weirder when one of Marty's exes named Enrico arrives drunk and confesses love from outside to the woman who isn't even home. It takes Henry going down and the cops arriving to get him to go away, and when Henry eventually goes to bed, Marty and Eddie return and engage in some very noisy activities, keeping him up. The next day, the three head out for a stroll, and during the outing, Marty is hit by a remote control helicopter in the face. A man who appears to be the same art thief from earlier arrives to help and apologizes but she's immediately infatuated with the attractive man. The two then proceed to flirt with each other. He introduces himself as Tommy and buys them lunch before taking them to a museum to lecture them on some of the art. Throughout the outing, Henry isn't very excited as you can expect, and Tommy makes it worse for him by suggesting another outing to an Albanian restaurant by the weekend. The next day, Henry and Emily go to work, and when he arrives at his office, He's shocked to discover that Tommy is one of the suspected art thieves the FBI has been tracking for months. He quickly informs Chief David, who assigns him to keep tabs on Tommy and to even encourage the relationship, but tells him no one else can know about it, not even Emily. The night of the planned outing arrives, and Tommy shows up at their house. Henry prepares himself for the secret mission, but his cover is quickly blown when Emily blurts out that they're FBI agents. When they arrive at the secret restaurant, Henry notices shady characters and follows Tommy to the back where he finds him with his two partners, but he pretends not to know what they're up to. Afterward, Tommy tells Marty that he wants to retire from his line of work and settle down, and suggests that they take their relationship to the next step, which she agrees to. Back at work, Henry explains the difficulty of the operation to his chief, adding that he feels bad betraying his mother by invading her privacy on such a scale but the chief just threatens to transfer him to another outpost before assigning him as the head of the task force, who go later that day to bug virtually every nook and cranny of his house. Later that evening, the agents get a whiff of Tommy's plans and bug his hotel room, but when he sees their van outside the hotel, he takes Marty on a very fast impromptu joyride in his Mustang to evade the agents. He takes her to a restaurant and, like the professional that he is, scans the area and finds bugs, so he chooses his words carefully. Meanwhile, Henry and his team are listening to all of their conversations, 
but nothing incriminating comes up, and they only learn that Marty loves her son very much. At night, the two engage in some passionate activities that make the job very awkward and uncomfortable for Henry, while his partners find it unnecessarily amusing. When he gets home, he finds Emily once again waiting for him in a provocative outfit, but he claims that he's not in the mood, and in an attempt to evade her, breaks a vase, exposing a bug, and she finds out he's been spying on Marty, but he doesn't mention anything about the Bureau being involved. The next day, Henry and Tommy have lunch together, and he still doesn't know Henry is aware that he's a suspect, and assumes that he's just looking out for Marty, so he explains that he means no harm to her. Later that afternoon, Emily finally catches Henry running Tommy's prints, and so he confesses to the entire operation to her. Meanwhile, Tommy goes to see his cohorts, Nico and Jean E, who get very apprehensive and even pull guns on him when they discover that he's been hanging out with an FBI agent. However, he subdues them and reminds them not to jeopardize their mission. In the evening, Henry finally summons the courage to tell Marty about the operation. As expected, she's heartbroken, but promises not to tell Tommy that they all know he's an art thief. On their date, she wears a wire and is understandably unhappy, so Tommy, who seems to genuinely love her, tries to cheer her up but she only requests that he tell her the truth about his work. He keeps it as vague as he can, but eventually lets out the date of his next, and according to him, his last operation, which is in two nights' time. Afterward, he takes her home, but she's too annoyed that he still did not come clean, but he explains that he can't quit until he's done with the last mission. Meanwhile, the agents overheard the entire conversation and prepare adequately for the presumed date of the heist. The night arrives, and the three thieves enter a museum. Tommy is very upset, but the show must go on, so he prepares himself for the job. Back at home, Marty isn't talking to Harry, but he too must prepare to catch the thief. That night, the men outsmart the guards to get into the building, and after knocking out some of the guards, they put on their uniforms. Tommy displays a very clever and comical approach to set his plan in motion as he uses the remote control helicopter he was practicing with earlier to trigger the alarms repeatedly. Each time, the cops and Henry arrive. It's declared a false alarm, so they deactivate the alarms and send in five men to keep watch. This time, the thieves use sleeping gas on the guards and come out to seal the statue they came for. Meanwhile, Henry, Emily, and the other agents had gone to the hotel and confirmed that Tommy isn't there, so they inform the museum guards. Unfortunately for Tommy, he gets trapped within the lasers just as the alarm is activated, and it's Paris all over again for him. Nico and Jean Eve don't hesitate to leave him behind, but when he follows them anyway, they shoot at him and an actual guard who interfered. Luckily, he was wearing a bulletproof vest and gets back on his feet, but is caught by Henry and Emily outside. They're about to arrest him when he reveals that he's a CIA agent and was trying to arrest Nico and Jean Eve. It sounds like a cock and bull story, but after he explains that they are part of a syndicate and are planning to harm Marty, they listen to him and soon confirm that he's telling the truth. Back at home, Marty is attacked by the men, and the agents who were supposed to be watching over her are fast asleep. When they get to the house, the agents barge in through the windows and doors to stop the assailants. Even Enrico, who was drunk outside, decides to imitate them. Eventually, Nico and Jean Eve are arrested, and Henry thanks Tommy before leaving him and Marty to be alone. Tommy explains that this was the operation he was talking about, and once again confesses his love for her. The story closes with both couples sharing kisses, surrounded by police cars and federal agents.